ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Uprising. We're coming off an epic King of the Ring event where a new king was crowned the boat, Sean O'Connor, and he's going to face the man that retained his AWF championship, Danny Hardy, at Cyberslam. Tonight, we begin that road to Cyberslam. Any second now, but to hear from, uh, here he comes now, the winner of the King of the Ring Tournament 2018, the boat himself, Sean O'Connor. Started off the night with a victory over Ian Morgan, and then went into the finals and defeated Extreme Champion Mason Chronic. Chronic, who's going to be defending that Extreme Championship tonight against Walter Scott. But at the King of the Ring, it was this man who prevailed, and now he has a guaranteed championship match with the AWF champion at Cyberslam. Cyberslam, the first co branded CPV of the season. Now we're about to hear from the king himself. Today is a special day, ladies and gentlemen. Today, the king has been crowned. The boat is the king of AWF. I hereby decree the next champion of AWF is Sean O'Connor. My reign will be dealt with by an iron fist. AWF, get on your knees and bow to your king. The past dictates the future. Every King of the Ring winner has gone on to become AWF champion, and that will be no different with the boat. Evan Rockville, former King of the Ring, went on to become AWF champion. Dr. Steven Syntax, one King of the Ring, went on to become AWF champion. Danny Hardy went on to become AWF champion after being King of the Ring. Danny Hardy takes people out with punts and puts them out of action like Dr. Steven Syntax. It is my turn. I've waited long enough. It has been two years since I've been back in AWF and not once have I gotten a legitimate opportunity. I faced Ben Hitman. I defeated Ben Hitman but was never guaranteed a title match. I have clawed my way from the bottom back to the top numerous times, and this is now my opportunity at Cyberslam to become AWF champion. Nobody else in this company is more deserving than the AWF championship than myself. Former AWF World Tag Team champion, former AWF United States champion, Former BYU champion, former BYU North American champion, former BYU hardcore champion, former GCW world champion, former GCW world heavyweight champion, former GCW champion, former TWA world heavyweight champion, former TWA tag team champion, former ICWGP heavyweight champion, former CCWO Canadian heavyweight champion, former NAWA heavyweight champion, former WCCW intercontinental champion. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no denying that I, Sean O'Connor, am the best of all time and no more will I be snubbed at an opportunity to be a champion in America in the AWF. No more bullshit. 
So help me God if Christopher Wonder ends up being in my match at CyberSlam and making this a triple threat. Hell hath no fury because Sean O'Connor will enact his revenge on the AWF. If M. Accuracy thinks that he can get involved with me, you better watch out because you have another thing coming. GMR, do the right thing. Let these people know the age of the boat is here. Bow down, ladies and gentlemen. Bow down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uprising. Our main event tonight, we'll see Danny Hardy go one-on-one -on -one with the monster himself, the Disciples' own Texas Black. And after hearing the words of the King of the Ring, you gotta wonder what mood Danny Hardy is in. We'll find out later on. This man right here who's making his way to the ring, Walter Scott, one half of 3G, has a big opportunity here as he is challenging for Mason Connors Extreme Championship in a dispute that actually began over on Twitter. Don't forget you could follow the AWF on Twitter at the AWF 105. Walter Scott, Walter Scott and Mason Carney got in a uh, rough exchange of words, and General Manager GMR decided to put his foot down and said, "Hey, you guys want to fight? Well, let's do it in the ring, and we'll put the Extreme Championship on the line." Now, Walter awaits the champion. No. Mason Chronic, who successfully defended his Extreme Championship against Texas Black in a semi-final match from the King of the Ring Tournament, was unsuccessful in becoming the King of the Ring, but he still holds that championship, a championship that he has held for so long, months among months, Mason Chronic has dominated 
with the Extreme Championship. Won the title back at Meltdown, successfully retained it at Glory Days and at King of the Ring, amongst other championship defenses here on Uprising. Another one could be added to that pile tonight. Will Walter Scott join those who have fallen to Mason Chronic? Or will Walter Scott be able to take down the beast? You know, I asked uh, when Walter Scott was coming out here. You gotta wonder what mood Danny Hardy is in. You gotta wonder what mood Walter Scott is in tonight. You remember the last time we saw Walter Scott here on Uprising? Him and his uh, tag team partner and best friend, Lewis Rivers, they lost a number one contendership match where they could have been the contenders for the tag team titles against the Disciples at the King of the Ring. They failed, and Walter Scott and Lewis Rivers don't seem to be on the best of terms. Lewis Rivers, he walked out. A lot of questions about what the future of the team is, but... Walter Scott, if he has any hopes of winning that championship, he's got to put that to the side. He's got to worry about that later and worry about winning that title on Mason Chronic's shoulder, the Extreme Championship. Mason Chronic hands the championship to the referee. Could it be? Could it be that he's handing it away for good? Or will he be able to regain that championship in just a matter of minutes? Walter Scott looking confident. We better be ready. Referee calls for the bell. Here we go. And here, oh my god. Out, forearm shot to the face. Mason Chronic ran in like a ton of bricks. And he got knocked down. And now Walter Scott throwing Chronic into the ropes. Leaf Frog. Another Leaf Frog. And a back elbow. Chronic is down. Walter Scott. What's he doing? He's heading to the top rope. Looking to fly. Chronic's up on his feet. Here he comes. Elbow across the chest. And he goes in for the cover. Does he got Chronic? Only a one count. Walter Scott, he's got to keep on this. Don't want to get let Mason Chronic get one second of breath. Oh my god, great Scott elbow. He connected with a great Scott elbow. And look, Chronic is getting up. Chronic is up on his feet. Chronic now holding on by the ropes. Got clothesline to the floor. This fa these fans are on their feet. Gotta wonder what. Great Scott is thinking here. And oh my god, suicide dive. Walter Scott having a heck of a strategy to kick off this match with full force to the champion is what he's got to do. Now Chronic's up. And oh no. I'm throwing Walter Scott into side of the ring apron. And now, oh my god. Back first into the barricade. This is the dominance that Chronic has displayed for months. He's got him up on his shoulders. What is this? Oh my god! Just ran him into the barricade. And oh man, he just got sent over. Walter Scott coming back. Oh, and a clubbing blow to Walter's back. And he just got tossed. Like he weighed nothing. Mason Chronic, he's a freak of nature. So strong. So powerful. And now he's got a steel chair. Like he even needs one. Oh, Walter Scott was able to get out of the way. And German a suplex on the floor. He's throwing Chronic in the ring. And now that chair that Mason Chronic was trying to use, Walter Scott's got it in possession. He's waiting for Chronic to get up. And 
and oh my god, smash it into the head of the champion. And ladies and gentlemen, this is all legal in an extreme championship matchup. There are extreme rules. And Chronic is up. Old oh, man. Normal man might have been down for the count after that, but Mason Chronic is far from that. He went for the clothesline and he missed. And oh man, he got caught with that forearm again. And now, oh! Kind of a modified Great Scott elbow to the back. And now, Walter. He's waiting for him. Springboard. He got him! Springboard's elbow to the face. Two. Only scoring the two. Not enough to win the championship. Went for the drop kick. Chronic dodged it. And oh man, Cocoon man. Walter Scott goes down. Now he just got tossed. And this is when Mason Chronic gets dangerous. And he's got him up. Look at the pure raw strength of the extreme champion, Suplex. What is Chronic doing? The old man running knee strike and it just sent Walter Scott to the floor. And whoa, is that a... Chronic just hit a drop kick on the outside. Mason Chronic, who's, what, 6'5", at least 265, 270 pounds, delivering a drop kick. That's crazy, folks. And now Chronic, he's getting tossed into the barricade, and you're an Augie. Oh, man, just got sent into the ring apron. And again. And oh my god. Walter Scott, very smart here. Using his surroundings to his advantage. And again, using the ring apron as a weapon. Now he throws Chronic into the ring. Big boot. Oh, and wait a minute. Mason Chronic, he, he might be bleeding. I'm not sure, but caught caught that. Mason Chronic turned around and oh yeah, he's bleeding. And oh man, there's the God Buster. If this was a first blood match, this one would be over, folks. But that's not the case. He's got to keep Chronic down for the three count. And, oh my god, that bicycle knee. Does he got him? Is Chronic down? No. Only getting the two. Walter Scott can't believe it. Went for the springboard. He missed. Springboard body splash. He, he missed. Chronic was able to roll out of the way. Chronic is still hurt and he's still down, but he was able to dodge it. Now Walter, well wait, Garth may be playing possum, he got slammed, he slammed Walter Scott into the mat. And there's the European uppercut. Spinning back fist. And there's a knee, knee to the face of the challenger. Another running European uppercut in the corner. You know what? Oh my god! The chair that was set up in the corner. Walter's got thrown head first into it. And now, Kron's got him by the head and throws him down. Chronic might have this, folks. Oh man, if he hits this, he definitely does. He's got him up. 
in position. Weapon X. And that's all she wrote. Mason Chronic retains the extreme level. You gotta give credit where credit is due to the challenger, Walter Scott. He had a lot of heart, put everything he had into this. He was able to knock the champion down for a few instances, but he wasn't able to get the job done. Mason Chronic doing what he's been doing for the last so many months. Picking up the victory and walking out still champion. Folks, we'll be right back right after this. Congratulations to Mason Chronic. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uprising. We already saw a championship being defended there by Mason Chronic. The Extreme title successfully defended. And now, we're going to see a rematch from our King of the Ring quick purview event. Coming down the aisle is Brian Stone picked up the victory over JC Wolf at the event. But Brian Stone was not the last man standing. That would be JC Wolf as he viciously assaulted Stone after the match. With that big boot by the steel post. Lead into this match here tonight. Saw quite the look for Brian Stone at the the King of the Ring event. As uh, my partner that evening, Adam O'Connor, noted. Also, a unique entrance at the King of the Ring. Perhaps surprise in JC Wolf. As unlike tonight with the entrance, he, he did not have any. The lights went out and, Walt, and Brian Stone appeared. Well, now he's out here. His first one out here. Now we wait the arrival of JC Wolf. There he is. JC Wolf, one of the newest stars of the season, was very upset to lose his first CPV match, but certainly decided that he wasn't going to leave without having people talking about him. Say what you want to oh on. Say what you want about JC Wolf, but he always goes out of his way to make sure people are talking about what he's doing. JC Wolf, who will be a part of the Call All Stars Rumble event. And wait a minute, Brian Stone's in the ring. Oh my god! It looks like Brian Stone's not gonna waste any time. He's pissed off after that attack after the, the match. 
And now look, he's sitting down beside him as JC Wolf is down. Big boot to the chest. Brian Stone certainly got a uh, unique style to him. Style that's that a lot of people seem to be a fan of. Believes in doing whatever it takes to get the win. And he's certainly unorthodox in how he does it. Whip into the ropes. Oh, big spear. That might be it. Only getting a two. Oh, wait. Went for the eye poke. JC Wolf able to block it. That's how we kicked off their match at the King of the Ring. Now, Dowd. Dropping him on that top rope. Guys on the outside on the floor. Snake Eyes. Modified Snake Eyes. Using the ring apron. JC throwing Stone back in the ring because unlike our last matchup, this is not a no disqualification match with no countouts. And now, after the springboard, JC with the cover. Not enough. Off the ropes goes JC, and then he dropped. Remember, folks, our main event tonight the AWF champion, Danny Hardy, in action as he faces a former rival. Texas Black. JC now. And with the neck breaker. Also, we're going to hear from John Blackos a little bit later on tonight. The Aussie Brawlers are making their debuts here tonight against the Daredevils and also Travis Sparks, the f now former Million Dollar Champion, will be in action against a unknown opponent and from what I'm being told it is a new sign-in that General Manager GMR has made. So a new star, the Red Brand, making his debut tonight. And oh man! Brian Stone got the eye poke. Oh, and then look, there's a jab. And a few more. Down goes Wolf. Oh my god. Clubman blows to the head. You know, you know, Brian Stone's looking for blood. Oh my goodness. Just pounding on the face and now just kicking the air. Again, that's the unorthodox style of Brian Stone. We see it on display here. We saw it on display at the King Ring. How we saw it on display on the last edition of Uprising. And Wolf's locker room was absolutely destroyed by Stone. One begins to wonder, J.C. Wolf came to the AWF and he came and he was asking for competition. He got that competition in the form of Brian Stone. He didn't walk out with the victory that night. Tonight he has a, a real uh, need to prove himself here. J.C. Wolf certainly well accomplished all around the call world. But a lot of people are like, hey J.C., what, what, what are you doing now? So, Wolf really needs to pick up the win here tonight. Brian Stone with a win here tonight would put this one to rest. And oh my goodness. Knee drop connecting. With my head into the top rope. Elbow drop connecting. Two. 
picking up a two count. Brian Stone up immediately. There's a power slam. Snap power slam. that uh a knockout blow wolf able to dodge it there's the strikes oh man grindstone down now jc wolf perhaps setting up for the end here stone stone blocks it he's going for it again wolf at the counter and now wait, 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 wait. small package two Shades of Paul Smackage, JC Wolf able to get the victory. He was able to sneak it out. Brian Stone in disbelief. He got bested there. JC Wolf able to get the small package and pick up the victory here at Uprising. Evan Rockville making his return to car wrestling here tonight. And a condom device in Sean Ross's capping. Up the stage. If you put a little trade of it. Oh yeah! Yes! This night, Ray Geddes got the best of Ben Hitman. No, he's signaling for the end here. No, not Redemption Road. AJ Young has cashed in, and now he's called All Stars champion. Anarchist versus Anarchist. These three men are attacking the Call All-Stars Champion. AJ's gonna steal it to become the first ever two-time Call All-Stars Champion. This one simple mistake that gave Sean O'Connor the victory. Is it a Cody wins! Cody wins! Cody just beat Casey Gordon! Cody's won the tournament! Um, what is going on here? Are we having our first ever fall offers dance off? Uh, oh it's man, it's, it's time for my top 10 metal albums of the Rumble. Chair. Chair. Oh no. What? Wait. What? It's the Anthony Hewitt Order! It's now the first ever Call All Stars Women's Champion! Bowser's down! Yeah. He's done! And he's the new John Pro Champion! The Cypress have just won the Call All Stars Tag Team Titles! Amazing Chronic Regain! He's He's got him! Brandon Wolf is the Call All-Stars World Heavyweight Champion! Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play! Hey now, you're a rock star, get the show on, get paid! And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uprising. There's been a lot of debate in regards to this upcoming match because the man walking down the aisle, the now former million dollar champion, Travis Barks, his opponent is unknown. And as I reported earlier, allegedly, General Manager GMR has recruited a new superstar known from other organizations in the call wrestling world. He's going to be the surprise opponent for Travis Sparks. Travis, you, you got
got to wonder what he's been thinking about after losing to Don Martin back at the King of the Ring. No longer holding the Million Dollar Championship, which gave him a guaranteed championship matchup, which he no longer has. Now, wait a minute. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Folks, that's APOC Aries. We've seen APOC Aries compete in Nude on Pro and in ECF. He's a Nude on Pro Hall of Famer. He's a seven time Nude on Pro World Heavyweight Champion. And now he's here in the AWF. Jersey City Machine is here, and he's gonna wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Are you kidding me? Well, talked about it when Travis Sparks was making his way out here. He lost a million dollar championship to that man right there, Don Martin. And look at him. Showing it off. It's a spotlight entrance. Gotta believe he's just rubbing it in the face of Travis Sparks. I thought this, uh, this was over between these two, and perhaps we're, this is far from over. I wonder what the hell Don Martin is looking to do out here. There's supposed to be a singles match to take place here. With Travis Sparks and new... Uprising Superstar, APOC Aries. <laughs> Referee is calling for the bell as Don Martin is making his way around the, around the side of the ring. APOC throwing Travis into the ropes. And, oh, went for the German suplex. Travis was able to get out of it. I'll kick to the arm. Travis with these series of strikes, and folks, you can't see it on the screen, but Don Martin has taken a seat right beside the the announcer's table. Set up a steel chair, and he's sitting down. And he, it looks like he has got a front row seat on this contest as Travis connects with the thrust kick. And does he have him? No. Box up, Travis trying to get him back down. Sends Aries into the ropes. Around he goes with that DDT. Apoc now rolling to the ring apron. Try and get some air. And oh man, forearm to the face. Apoc now heading up high, he's on the top rope. Oh man, blockbuster. Big opportunity for both competitors in this contest. Travis to make a uh, to make a save from the fall that occurred at the King of the Ring. To keep momentum on his side. Oh my goodness, is Aries has the send on. Perhaps show GMR that he deserves another shot. At the million dollar championship. APOC. Perhaps he's looking to add his name to one of the championship uh, contenders list. 
oh man, there's a drop kick and the kip up. Speaking of champions, the AWF World Champion Danny Hardy is gonna be in action tonight when he faces the monster Texas Black. It's gonna be our main event, folks. Travis now is at a size disadvantage. Not a first time for that. As now he hits a sunset flip. Oh. Does not go for the cover. And it goes for it this time. Only getting a two. Travis Sparks losing the million dollar championship was a surprise to many. Travis Sparks just won that championship back at Glory Days 4. And he lost it very quickly. It's quite the surprise. Travis Sparks, the longest reigning junior heavyweight champion in history, held that title for over 900 days. Travis is down and out, though. And now, Apoc Aries is looking for something here. Oh, man. There's a running knee. Two. Don't leave enough for a two. Apox getting frustrated. Travis is up. Second shoulder block. Goes for a third. Apox sends him to the apron. Travis now heading to the top rope. Double axe handle. Travis waiting for him. Oh my god. Spinning around house kick takes down Uprising's newest star. And here's the pin. Only enough for a two. crazy man is thinking oh my god is he looking to fly there's a tornado DT out to the floor for Travis to say thankfully he connected he's got to get APOC in the ring as he does he's got to capitalize referee's up to a three count Travis makes his way back in Travis goes in for the cover does he have him? Two. Enough for a two count. Maybe Travis took too much time there. Travis now directing his attention over to Don Martin. Wait, wait a minute. Spring Bird Hurricane Rana. He just took down the new million dollar champion. Don Martin who was out here watching this matchup. Taunting Travis. And Travis took him down. Travis heads back to the ring. Apox up. Oh my god. Running for him. And oh my god, we're on a knee by the New Jersey Devil. And now he's setting it up. He's got him up on his shoulders. Blade runner. And he got it. Travis Sparks took his eye off the ball. He got distracted by Don Martin, and it cost him tonight. Apoc Aries, on the other hand, capitalized on that mistake, and now he enters the AWF at 1-0. Apoc Aries is here on Uprising, and he picked up a huge win. They kick things off. Wait, whoa, Don Martin's in the ring. Don Martin is in the ring. Oh my god! And now he's attacking Travis Sparks with a steel chair. Hey, wait a minute. Apox heading back. Apox heading back to the ring. Apox Aries 
Perhaps the respect was earned, and now he is sending Don Martin back in. Love the way you activate your hips and push your ass out. Got a nigga walking this so bad about to pass out. When I dig you, and I can't even lie about it, baby. Just to deviate your clothes, time to fly about. Get you in the club. Oh shit, you got my feeling, body talking shit to me. But I can't talk for any meaning. Now, if you wanna roll with me, then this is a chance to an idiot on the freeway. Boy, he's asking if you care. Forgive me, I'm a rider. Still, I'm just a simple man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uprising. All hell broke loose before we went to break. But right now, about to hear from the French sensation himself, the one who wants the Alex Enterprise and Tyler Watson to shit the fuck up. John Blackos. Hey, yo, first days, Notice first one bit piece, piece of hardware is ground. missing from John's waist. That is the United States Championship. John lost the championship at the King of the Ring to Tyler Watson thanks to the distraction from the Alex Enterprise. He's going to put Watson away with the 450. Took his eye off the ball with when Alex arrived. Watson capitalized. Watson is the United States Champion. There's been a lot of rumors that John's out here to call them out, call the Alex Enterprise out here, so let's find out. I don't want to waste any time, so I'll keep this short and sweet. Tyler, go ahead and have fun. Go ahead and brag about winning the US title. But make sure you do one thing. Make sure to keep that belt warm for me once I come back to get it. Because I will. But now into bigger matters. I started something and I'm damn sure gonna finish it. Alex Enterprise, come down here right now and let's fight. Oh my god. John Blackos putting the United States Championship pursuit on the side for the time being, and he is calling the anarchists out here. Oh my god, and he's here. We didn't know for sure if the Alex Enterprise would be here, but he's here. And John Blackos is ready to throw down. He's ready for a fight. John is ready. We're about to see these two collide. Hey, wait, 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 wait. That's, that, that's Tyler Watson. Tyler Watson, the United States champion. He just laid out John Blackos again. Redemption driver. Now Watson leaving, and now Alex is in the ring, of course. Oh, come on. I should have this, known this was coming. It's two on one assault here. And now, Watson giving Alex a chair. Come on, the referee's trying to put a stop to this. And, oh, look at this animal. Wait, 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 is that... That's Christopher Wonder. Christopher Wonder making a save for John Blackos before his career was shortened by the Alex Enterprise and Tyler Watson. Okay, motherfuckers, I'm multi-time champion Mason Chronic, and I'm here to talk to you about some fucking anime. Are you a fan of Dragon Ball Super? We got that shit. One Piece? You already fucking know. Naruto? Overlord? Fuck. We even have an anime about two lesbian stepsisters if you're into that shit. Here at Crunchyroll, we offer a wide variety of anime for all you fucking weirdos for free. But you can also subscribe to our premium package 
for only six ninety five a month. The fuck do you mean this is an ECF commercial? The fuck's an ECF? <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Thankfully for John Blackos, Christopher Wonder made it the save for him. Gotta wonder what the Alex Enterprise and Tyler Watson think about that. But as we move forward, here comes two individuals who challenge for the World Tag Team Championships at the King of the Ring in Trey Dieter, Jeffrey Albritton, the Daredevils, two men who are actually announced as official participants in the Call All-Stars Rumble match. defeated 3G to become the number one contender for the tag team titles and unfortunately for them their championship quest did not end the way that they had hoped the disciples seemingly had their way with these guys tonight though these guys got a chance to get back on track when they faced a debut in brand new hot upstart team the Aussie Brawlers. You got on the right there, Nick Hemmerlin. On on the left, Jack Wyatt. These two Australian kids looking to make a mark here on Uprising. They made their first appearance on the scene a few months ago on the AWF Facebook page. Caught the AWF fans by storm. The confidence that these guys displayed. Two guys who specialize in mixed martial artist training. And now they're here. Oh my god. Trey Gier got taken down by Emerlin. And the ropes. There he goes. Oh, collision. But Trey Gier. The forearm shot. Now look, Trey knees to the midsection. We saw Trey Jeter. He posted on the AWF Facebook page stating that something's got to change after their performance at the King of the Ring. Maybe they're stepping up the aggression here tonight as he tags in his partner, Jeffrey. And oh, there's a double super kick. All Britain into the cover. Only getting one. Oh man. Clubbing blow and now the elbow drop. Pele kick. Nick, he's got to get a tag to his uh, tag team partner, Jack Wyatt. Just a chop. Hitting the ropes. Drop kick to the head. Wait, oh, went for a slam, Nick with the counter, and now a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Irish whip, caught him back with that back elbow. And now whip into his corner. Here's the tag. 
Jack Wyatt now the legal man. Double axe handle to the arm. Oh my god, spinning back fist. Down goes All Britain. All Britain still in this though. There's the next snap. And oh my god. Vicious headbutts. Of course, everyone knows here in a call wrestling ring, there's more things that are legal than that are legal in a MMA uh, octagon. Is now. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness! Innovative tag team maneuver. Only enough for two, though. Now Jeffrey whip into the corner. The tag to Trey Jeter. What are these guys? Oh my god. That was a crazy tag team maneuver there. And now the... Northern Lights, see? No! I thought the Daredevils were gonna play spoiler there for the Aussie Brawlers debut. Ow! Combination sent in, Hammerlin down. Remember, the Aussie Brawlers, when they spoke a few months back, they talked a big game. They had a lot of confidence in themselves. They gotta show it here tonight. They gotta back it up. There was a bid in war between general managers GMR and Scott Adams to uh, acquire these guys. Tonight they have a shot to back it up and show their importance. And oh, the double axe handle to the arm of Trey Jeter. Backbreaker. As Jack Wyatt is the legal man once again. Pounding away on the back of Trey Jeter and now now pounding on his face. Like I said, these guys have that MMA background. Oh jeez, back suplex. Trey may have been dropped on those ropes. Certainly does not help. Now, wait, look at this clutch. Oh! Into the neck breaker. It was absolutely nasty. They're not done with them. The tag. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh! DDT? And then kicked him into a German suplex. Double on Earth DDT into the German. There goes Jeffrey Albritton. And now Hemmerlin into the cover. And the Aussie Brawlers pick up the victory in their debuts. For months, we heard about these guys and how they were going to change the direction of the tag team division. Uprising and GMR won the bid and war. They came to the Red Brand, and now tonight they debut and defeat one of the top teams in Call Wrestling right now in the Daredevils. Congratulations to those two young men for picking up this big victory. Lewis, look, just, just hear me out, man. Look, man. Things have not been going 3G's way by any means. Losing prior to the King of the Ring, and then even with you just losing the Chronic now, I don't think 3G is meant to last in the AWF. I think by this particular point, it's best that we go our separate ways. You just go be the knockout artist, and me just be the face of first class, man. Things haven't been looking up. And the only way we can go from here is just downhill, man. So, I think this is it. I think 3G is done here.
Look, I know it's been a rough couple of weeks for 3G in, a in the AWF. We lost a chance to compete at King of the Ring, and I just lost to Mason Chronic in an extreme title match. But there's still an unfinished business for the both of us to make something of what we've been given, or better yet, what I earned. I know you remember, I won the Young Lions Cup, and with that, I have a chance to challenge for any title I want here in the AWF. I was considering an opportunity at, per at perhaps the US title, but I think I know what I want for the both of us now. What do you say we put these last few weeks behind us, start fresh, and challenge for the AWF World Tag Team Championships? The Daredevils lost that King of the Ring, and I know you and I can beat the Disciples if we are on the same page and do what we've always done best, which is go out there and take what's rightfully ours. This could be our final opportunity, but if, but if you and I are on the same page, we will become AWF World Tag Team Champions, and we will show the entire AWF Tag Team Division why 3G is a brotherhood that cannot and will not be broken. What do you say, brother? Wow, you heard it there, folks. 3G versus the Disciples. Oh my god. Speaking of the Disciples, we're about to get our main event underway. The monster of the Disciples. Texas Black is going to be going one on one with the AWF champion, Danny Ari. But yeah, but like we saw backstage. Walter Scott and Lewis Rivers for for a little bit there. It looked like 3G was going to be no more. Lewis seemed to think that it would be best for them to go their separate ways. Walter Scott, he suggested using his contract opportunity that he acquired winning the New Dawn Pro Young Lions Cup. Which not only gave him a spot in the call search but gave him a championship opportunity here in the AWF. Walter Scott, who had a championship opportunity earlier tonight against Mason Chronic for the Extreme Championship, didn't go how he had hoped. He felt like everyone else who went up against Mason Chronic. And he even said he, he thought about going after the United States Championship and Tyler Watson. But he decided to go after the World Tag Team Titles. And from what I'm hearing, General Manager GMR... Hold on a second. Oh my god. General Manager GMR... Is, it, is trying to get the proper paperwork done right now. And apparently... The rumor is that this Tag Team Championship match will take place on the next edition of Uprising. We're not even waiting until Cyberslam. We're getting this underway. Uh, I'll give more information as more information comes to me. Right now, the AWF Champion is walking down the aisle. Danny Hardy defended that championship against Christopher Wonder at the King of the Ring in an epic contest. There were many times where I thought both men were going to walk out with that championship. But Danny Hardy was able to hit that danger bomb on the steel steps. And Christopher Wonder just couldn't get up. That is why he is still the AWF champion. But will he still be champion after Cyberslam? As Danny Hardy is going to defend that championship against the icon, Sean O'Connor. Heard 
from Sean Connery, the king of the ring, earlier tonight. And I asked earlier how Danny Hardy felt about it. And, you know, hopefully it pissed off Danny Hardy because Danny Hardy is going up against no normal man. He, this man is a monster. A monster who defeated Danny Hardy. One. No, he missed the clothesline. Nope, went for clothesline to the back. Danny Hardy connects with it. So we know Texas Black can defeat Danny Hardy. So a few questions arise for this upcoming match. Danny Hardy throws Texas Black in the ropes, and there's the Lufez press. Question number one. What what happens for Danny Hardy's chances if he is injured tonight in this bout with Texas Black? That's certainly going to benefit Sean Connor. Question two. If Texas Black is able to defeat the AWF champion tonight, what does that mean for our main event at CyberSlam? Sean O'Connor, he talked about it earlier, about he would defeat Christopher Wonder. If Christopher Wonder got involved and, and the match became a triple threat, well, seemingly Christopher Wonder is... Oh my goodness! Danny Hardy just took a vicious big boot. Chris Wonder is seemingly not involved here, and he may be more confident about Chris Wonder. I don't know how he would feel about the seven-foot, three hundred-pound monster of the disciples. Texas Black, who was almost the king of the ring, he made it to the semifinals before losing to Mason Chronic. And there's a punch sending Danny Hart to the floor. Oh, using the ring apron like it's a turnbuckle, dropping them with snake eyes. And what is this? Is he's on the apron? Leg drop. Whip into the corner. And I'll throw in Danny Hardy's shoulder first. Oh, he's got him goozled. Here he goes. Choke slam. Is that it? Not enough to keep the champion down. That would have been a stunning and dominant victory for Texas Black if he was able to put the champion away this soon. And the about that actually has been quite dominant on the behalf of Texas Black. And a stomp to the face. Into the cover again. Two. Only enough for two. Texas Black now. Oh, he's thinking last ride. He's got him up. All he's got to do is, is drop him. But Danny Hardy, he's fighting out of it. He's able to get out of there. And oh my God, deep six. Hardy knew if he got hit with that, it'd be over. Two. Only a two. Look at Danny Hardy, never one to shy away from anybody, and that includes Texas Black. Danny, he's heading to the top rope. Hardy looking to fly. Cross body. He 
Just club and blows. And Texas Black bounced off the ropes. He's down. Double axe handle to the face. And now whip into the corner. Oh god. Texas Black is seated on that top rope. Wait a minute. He's using the ropes for leverage. DDT. Spiking him into the mat. Hardy get him. No. Oh, Danny Hardy went for maybe the code blue. And it didn't work. And oh god, Texas Black has now got him. By the back of the head. Oh my god, reverse truck slam. And look at this. Putting him with one hand on his chest. But Danny already kicks out. What a night it has been thus far tonight. The king of the ring, Sean O'Connor. He spoke and addressed Danny Hardy earlier on. We saw Walter Scott and Mason Chronic put on a clinic in an Extreme Championship bout. We also saw Walter Scott is trying to keep 3G alive. As they, as he also announced that him and Lewis Rivers are gonna challenge the Disciples on the next edition of Uprising and about that perhaps could be the deciding factor for 3G. If 3G doesn't win those tag team titles, we may never see them team again in an AWF ring. We also saw, speaking of tag teams, the Aussie Brothers, they made their debut successfully earlier on. And now Texas Black on the top rope. Big clothesline. I don't know if he got all of them. He got some of them. Danny Hardy is down, though. Texas Black has got to capitalize. Oh, wait. He took too long. And now Danny Hardy firing back. Close line in the corner. It's, one, it's a rare instance where Danny Hardy has to worry about being the smaller man. This is one of those instances. But no matter the size of his opponent, this man doesn't have quit inside of him. Texas Black kicking out though. You know, Danny already stomping away. And now neck breaker. DDT. DDT landing. And Danny Hardy telling Texas Black to get up. Bring you bring it on and now neck breaker remember folks you can go and check out the AWF website a lot of great features featuring all members of the roster on Uprising and Superstar Mayhem we have a gossip column we have uh, all our click review events available we have our schedule and we have polls, which we have a feature theme song poll that you can vote on right now. What do you, what do you think is the best theme song in the AWF? You can go and vote. So your favorite theme song gets that claim as the best. And uh oh, Danny Hardy, he's goozled. What goes up must come down. Choke slam connecting. And now Texas Black. He may be thinking last ride. Maybe another choke slam. Oh man, he's got he's thinking last ride. If he hits the last ride, this is over. D Texas Black will pick up a huge victory. But Hardy. Already getting out of it. Dog oh, boot to the chest. 
a vicious big boot to the chest of the monster. And now Danny Hardy looking for it. He's got him. Look at the strength with the danger bomb. Danger bomb connected. And now Hardy into the cover. One, two, and three. In a hard fought bout. That Texas Black almost put in his column. Danny Hardy hit the danger bomb and picks up the victory over the Disciples Monster. Huge wave of momentum for the AWF champion after a successful title defense at the King of the Ring. A big victory here tonight as he goes into Cyberslam and he faces the King of the Ring. Sean, wait a minute. Speaking of the King of the Ring, here he is. Sean O'Connor. Sean O'Connor out here. The man who will challenge Danny Hardy at Cyberslam for the AWF Championship. And he looks like he's heading towards the ring. What's Danny Hardy doing? He turned his back to the number one contender. And now he's out on ringside. Oh my god. He's throwing Texas Black into the ring. Sean Connor stopped in his tracks and wait a minute. Oh my oh my god! Just like what he did to Steven Syntax. Punt to the skull to Texas Black. Message sent loud and clear to his Cyber Slam opponent. Not only did Danny Hardy defeat the monster tonight? He may have taken him out with that punt. Will Sean O'Connor fall victim to the punt at Cyberslam? Or will he find a way to defeat the champion? We're going to find out at Cyberslam, folks. Thank you for joining us here tonight. We'll see you guys on Superstar Mayhem.